Previously on Dogwood Adventures. We completed the subfloor and the ceiling. We did cedar and aspen wood on the ceiling. Since then, we have left Colorado. And me and Millie are heading to warmer weather in Arizona. When we got there, we just relaxed for a few days. This is our rest period before we get started. The goal here is to get the school bus painted from top to bottom before we return to Bend, Oregon. some icing all right today we're gonna pull and reseal all 10 of these windows most people decide to go with just sealing them on the outside so they'll just scrape away the old sorry i'm spitting everywhere they'll just scrape away the old caulk and then they'll put new caulk on the outside what i'm going to do is remove the windows completely, reseal the inside and the outside. This bus has some leaks in the windows and I will be putting this bus up for sale. So I don't want it to leak. That's important, <laughs> especially when I'm putting woodworking around it. I don't want them to have to remove the trim to reseal the windows. So that's the route I'm going to take. So we can pretty much guarantee that they'll be, you know, sealed right and uh it's a little extra work but nothing crazy my friend's peeing outside that's what i was looking at <laughs> just caught me off guard <laughs> we also have to mix the paint today and that will be what the deciding factor is for the color we don't know what color we're using yet because we got white rust-oleum and then we got two quarts of hunter green and so I'm mixing my own paint. Whatever color green comes out is the color that I'm painting the bus. It's honestly amazing how simple these things are. <laughs> They're literally just gl glued in and then they got screws that hold it together. <laughs> That's it. It's crazy. Dude, we got the windows out, man! Oh, 
Kelly's over here holding me out. So I got this side out. The window's here. Now we're gonna do the same side. We're gonna do now we're gonna do the same thing to this side as we did to that side. I thought would take three days has taken at least nine days <laughs> we are taped off papered off and we are ready to paint this thing I have been delayed by everything under the Sun the wind the heat the bugs and finally we have a calm day where I can get this tape job done and hopefully get this thing sprayed tonight or in the morning when the wind is calm. Hopefully the wind will be calm in the morning. But yeah, let me show you this thing. Painting this bus. Ow! Oh, ran into that thing painting this bus has been an absolute journey from finding a location to finding the paint which was super hard finding oil-based paint while you're living on the road and you don't have an address to send it to to sanding this thing to taping this thing off completely this thing has been an absolute journey and i am so stoked that it is finally taped off it's primed it's sanded and it's ready to be painted. White Rust-Oleum. And I wanted to paint my bus green, so I bought Hunter Green. And we're gonna mix this and see what color comes out. So for every gallon of paint, I'm taking out one and a half cups and I'm adding one and a half cups of paint thinner. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. And now we're just gonna mix in our green, see what happens, and add a little bit of paint thinner as we go. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I really don't know if I should go darker or lighter on this. I don't know what to do. I think I'm going to go darker. Yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more and see what happens. That's going to be the green. All right. Yeah, I like it. That's gonna look really good with the black rails and the white windows. This is gonna look really cool. I am stoked. All right, next thing to do is to get this gun. I bought a spray gun. Get this gun loaded up and let's get this bus sprayed, baby.
are done with the bus. Oh, honestly, way bigger of a project than I thought it was going to be, but I'm so glad that I took it on because it looks that much better. I'm really happy with this. <laughs> Next move is to get back to Bend, Oregon, where I'm going to be building out the inside of this thing, and then I'm gonna be getting it up for sale. So if you're interested in buying this bus and you would like to design the layout with me, um, you can contact me at dogwoodconversions.com or you can get in contact with me through Instagram. My handle is at Shane Dennis with three N's. D-E-N-N-N-I-S. So, yeah, that's the plan. Get back to Bend, get this thing built, and uh, start making some more content for you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.